tell me why this Ricky locked his freaking keys in his truck. I'm stuck in the fuel line because bro locked his keys in the truck, bro. Oh my God. What's up, y'all? So, hey, man, matter of fact, let me turn these off real quick just for a second until I get done with this video. But anyway, what's up, y'all? So, hey, man, today is February the 19th. Uh, so, right now, if y'all don't know, I'm over here at uh, in Chanahan, Illinois, picking up a load. You know what I'm saying? So, uh, for this load, man, we're going to be heading to, uh, let me see, I forget real quick. Hold on. All right, y'all, so for this load, man, we're gonna be heading to uh, a place called Gertrude Hawk Chocolate in, uh, in Dunmore, PA. So yeah, we're gonna be taking this load over there. Um, this is a load of coconut oil. So we got some coconut oil right now. Uh, 45,420 pounds worth of coconut oil. So, so yeah, that's it for that load. Uh, let me go go ahead and put this paperwork and stuff up. Y'all, I had already uh, I already finished doing my paperwork and stuff. Uh, when I pulled over, I went here down and knocked this stuff out uh, right before I started recording. So I'm gonna put that up. So yeah, I already did my depart call, y'all. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Uh, they basically did everything that I needed to do. Yeah, I'm so confused. Um, I don't know who my dispatch is. Like, I know who he is, but it's like, I talk to him, and then I still get messages from my old dispatch sometimes. Like, I just sent over my seal numbers, uh, the BOLs and all that type of stuff, and then I got a response from her. So I don't know what's going on, y'all. Like, I don't know who, I don't know who my dispatch for you, but uh, I guess she's still helping out or whatever, but at this point, I don't know for real. But anyway, y'all, um, our next stop is going to be for fuel. Right now, I am at like uh, I'm at like a third of a tank, so uh, we'll be stopping at a petrol. Uh, it is 423 miles away. So what I'm gonna do is we finna get up out of here, man. Finna go and get down this road. Uh, I think according to Trucker Path, it's like a six out, six and a half hour drive to get there. Uh, so yeah, we're finna get down this road, man. Y'all don't mind my haircut, man. I really need a chop bad, bro. I need a haircut so bad. I don't know why, bro. This this barber, when I go home, bro, I swear this barber canceled on me like three times, bro. Like, I don't know what's over, bro. Like, I know the first time when I got there, you know what I'm saying? I sit down in the chair, waited on my appointment time. Now it's my time to get in the chair, bro. It's like, nah, I ain't cutting your hair today. In my in my opinion, I'm like, what? My reaction, I was like, what? what you, like, what you mean you ain't cut my hair today? <laughs> but he was like, um, his wife or his girlfriend or whatever was going into labor and all that type of stuff. So, you know, I'm, you know what I'm saying? I understand it. Like, you know what I'm saying? You got to leave up out of here, you know what I'm saying? Get to your your wife or you know what I'm saying whoever a girlfriend or whatever but the other two times though like I don't I don't know what was going on with it but anyway yeah so yeah basically I need to chop y'all so uh I'm gonna try to I'm gonna try to work with bro again but if he counts on me again bro I'm gonna just have to find somebody else bro I'm gonna have to find a new barber the barber I had uh I guess he was in the military or something and he got deployed or whatever so he ain't he ain't there no more. So you know what I'm saying. Anyway, y'all, I'm 
yeah, I'm having a tough time with the barber and all this type of stuff right now. But anyway, that's besides the point. I'm trying to see if there's anything else. I feel like I had to tell y'all something else. I don't know. Oh yeah. Um hey y'all let y'all let me know if y'all wanna see me uh on the hopper side of things. Uh just to, you know what I'm saying, run like a few loads for them. Uh, I'm thinking it's something that I'm interested in just to you know what I'm saying just to see how it is you know what I'm saying uh, also to add that on my resume you know I got the opportunity to uh, do that uh, my dispatch asked me if I was interested in doing it but um, I think I might I, I think I might do that but anyway y'all let me know if y'all want to see me uh, you know what I'm saying on the hopper side show y'all the hopper side of things I'm not leaving the tanker division I'm just going over there for uh, maybe run a few loads for them, you know what I'm saying, or whatever. Uh, just to get that experience and put that on my resume, you know what I'm saying, just in case your boy, uh, you know what I'm saying, want to switch division or whatever. But in, like, I don't think I am. I love the tanker division. Uh, it's been pretty good so far to me. So, hey, anyway, y'all, I'm running my mouth way too much, man. But anyway, man, I'm going to catch y'all down the road, man. Let's go. Hey, what's up, y'all? So, hey, man, uh, I just got a few... Uh, at this uh, at this petrol mix, uh somewhere in Ohio, so I just got fuel, y'all. Tell me why this Ricky locked his freaking keys in his truck. I'm stuck in the fuel line. This dude right here. I'm stuck in the fuel line because bro locked his keys in the truck, bro. Oh my god. Like I know, like I know myself, and I got like a bad habit of like. My keys and all that type of stuff. I didn't lock myself out before, but uh, not at the fuel line, bro. I, I know this got to be like the worst feeling ever. But uh, yeah, so I mean, he's kind of holding up the line right now. What I think I'm gonna do, I'm gonna ask this dude behind me, hey, if you want to bag up, let me out. I can let you in. But this guy in front of me locked his keys out. I mean, he locked his keys in his truck. So hey, man, I don't know what he gonna do. Uh, I told him, I said, hey, I don't know if, how true it is, but I told him uh, that uh, that if you can you can ask somebody else to use their key and see if it open your door or not. I did hear stories about that, like you can use somebody else's key to open your door. Y'all comment down below, let me know how true that is. I'm not sure. He got a uh, he got a Freightliner, so ain't nothing I can do for him. I'm in a Peterbilt now, so. But yeah, anyway, man, I'm gonna get back with y'all. I think I'm gonna uh, take it like, another 10 miles down the road and shut down there but you know anyway i'll keep y'all updated and all this stuff but uh yeah y'all stay tuned man let's go hey how you doing man doing all right hey so this guy in front of us locked his keys in the truck so we the guy in front of us locked his keys in the in his truck Yeah. Thank you. If you would, could you bag up and I can let you in? Make sense? Uh, okay. You need me to say it again? Uh, say it again. Uh, okay. Bag up. Uh, okay. Alright. So yeah, I'm this guy finna bag up y'all. Uh so yeah. Let's see if he go get in. Damn y'all, yeah, I done locked myself out the truck. Nah, I'm just playing. <laughs> Alright y'all, so I didn't get to finish my sentence. What I was saying was y'all, I love this truck because this Peterbilt is not gonna let you lock yourself out at all. Like, you not gonna get locked out in this Peterbilt because you gotta physically get out, put your key in the door and lock it. Which I believe, that's, that's a pretty good thing for me. Uh, something that I should have been doing in the beginning anyway. But I think that's a pretty cool, like, like a pretty good feature. And the good thing about it is locks, except for the sides you get out on. So if I get out on this side, and I try to lock the door, it's not gonna lock the door until like, you know what I'm saying? Like I get out, close it and turn the key. If I get out over here and try to lock the door, like if I just go over here, lock the door, it's not gonna lock. I'm not sure if y'all seen that, 
But with this door being open, it's not gonna lock. But now I can lock the door. So this um this is a pretty cool feature. I like that. Uh, I'm never gonna lock my keys out in this truck. It's impossible for me to lock my keys in the truck. You know what I'm saying? So yeah, y'all should never have those. Uh, well, I should never have those problems again while I'm in this truck. But anyway, y'all, I'm in uh, Hubbard, um, Ohio, uh, parked up at a McDonald's. Uh, they got truck parking over here. I use this app called Trucker Path. It shows me like like the mom and pops, uh, like the just small town truck stops, any truck parking, rest areas, um, TAs, loves, all the you know all that type of stuff like that. So. Uh, I've been using that truck. I've been using that app ever since I became a truck driver and I just stuck with it, man I you know, what I'm saying I like it, you know, so yeah I like that it showed me like the mom and truck mom and pops truck stops You know, what I'm saying all that type of stuff like that. So uh, That's what I use. So I just went on there look and see some that's close I just seen the McDonald's with truck parking and uh, yeah, this one be shutting down over here for the night and uh yeah man uh also the guy that locked his keys in the truck man uh, he was a young guy man a young guy uh probably about my age 22 somewhere around there uh but yeah man i know what he going through man like you know what i'm saying i can tell he was like i don't know it's like i can tell he was new to trucking you know what i'm saying like he just looked like he was just like new or something. You know, you know what I'm saying? Like, I don't know. Like, maybe when I just, I don't know if it's just me. I've been driving for a little minute and they can just spot out like a Ricky when you see one. Even though I, I consider myself still a Ricky. Uh, you know what I'm saying? I love, I learn new stuff every day uh, about trucking. So, you know what I'm saying? I'm still a Ricky myself. Uh, I would say, well, I'm like over a year into it now. So I'm not sure if, this, I don't know. I, I still consider myself still a rookie right now. I'm still learning everything. You know what I'm saying? I just learn different stuff every day about uh, trucking. But, uh, yeah, uh, not to talk y'all heads off, man, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and shut down here for the night. I said I'm going to go talk y'all heads off from here. I'm about to start up another little uh, conversation or whatever. But, yeah, I'm close to the 90. I'm about uh, four and a half hours out, five hours out. Uh, I'm not sure how many miles it is, but whatever. About five hours out from the 90, right? And this load is not supposed to be delivered tomorrow, but I want to call them and see if I could deliver tomorrow. But anyway, man, I get back with y'all. Y'all stay tuned. Um, yeah, y'all just stay tuned, man. Let's go. Hey, what's up, y'all? Good morning, good evening. Whatever time y'all watching it is good morning for me. Y'all ain't gonna lie, man. I woke up feeling so good today, man. I, I feel so good today, bro. I ain't gonna lie to you, man. Yeah, I'm just in high spirits right now like my energy bro is just crazy but anyway y'all i just got finished with my pre-trip inspection uh like i was telling y'all yesterday i should be getting there early so what i'm about to do now i'm about to call them and try to attempt to call them again and so hopefully i can get to the right person today i don't know but uh yeah hopefully they can go on and get me unloaded bro so i can get another load and you know what i'm saying keep making this money bro so uh yeah man uh hey good morning to y'all good evening i hope y'all are having a good day uh just as much as me I, man i feel so good right now i ain't gonna lie to you but anyway man i'm gonna catch y'all down the road man let's go hey what's up y'all so hey man i am finally here at the 90. so i found my way over here thank god i seen this uh tanker driver over here i seen the sign but i was like uh the company name that was on the sign was like real small like right up under it so, uh, cause the GPS had me, uh, you know, had me passing up the turn or whatever. But luckily, I seen this prime drive over here, that's right there, uh, getting unloaded or whatever. But anyway, y'all, I'm here. I had to come through, make a U-turn or whatever. Uh, the guys back there, this, I'm not sure if they gonna be unloading or what. Uh, if they gonna be doing it, I'm not sure. But uh, yeah, we will find out in just a second. I am here a day early, so. Uh, Right now, the dude is uh, looking at the paperwork. Hopefully, they go ahead and accept me uh, and get me up out of here, y'all. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to keep y'all posted, keep y'all updated and all that good stuff. 
And uh, yeah, y'all stay tuned, man. Let's go. All right, y'all. So the guy just came and talked to me. Uh, he was saying that um, they might not have enough room to uh, go ahead and get me in today. Uh, but he go check. But uh, he want to get finished with this guy up here in front of me first. And then he'll come back and let me know something. Then until then, uh, I'm about to get out. Uh, just do laps around the truck. Uh, and yeah, that'll be my little uh, doing something for the day. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you know what I'm saying? As far as get my blood flowing and all that type of stuff. So uh, yeah, I keep y'all updated, posted, and all that. Until then, man, I'm finna go on to get out of this truck and. Uh, move around a little bit you know what i'm saying so yeah all right y'all so good news good news man so they go get me in today they want him to go ahead and unload me today so that is good news bro um i think he said he's gonna go take his lunch and then he go get me as soon as he come back off of his lunch break uh the guy in front of me literally just pulled off so i'm about to pull up in just a second the guy on his lunch break right now so i ain't even really worried about pulling up right now uh, so yeah, man, they go, hey, they go get your boy in today. So y'all stay tuned, man. Let's go. All right, y'all. So, uh, I'm going to go ahead and, uh, pull up, pull up the truck. You know what I'm saying? Going to move up. Uh, I ain't gonna lie y'all. My hands freezing, bro. I can barely text, bro. Like my hands so freaking cold. But anyway, let's go ahead and uh, move this truck up. Let's go. All right, y'all, it's about that time, man. What, two hours later? All right, let's go on and get the, uh, see what he got for me. Hey, we using my pump, y'all pump. Well, I, I said, your pump. Yeah, if my pump. pump back, you're going right through here. Oh, okay, all right, cool. Hey, just let me know when to stop. Huh? I said, let me know when to stop. All right, y'all, so let me go ahead and hook up my hydraulic lines. Go ahead and these jumps over here so we uh using my pump so that's why i gotta hook my hydraulic lines up and stuff like that so let's go ahead and knock this out all right y'all got my hydraulic lines connected i'm gonna go ahead and uh Go ahead and uh, turn on my uh, PTO switch and all that. So for those of you who don't know, it's the same in the International and the Peter Belts. So you go firmly press the brake, put your truck in gear, turn your PTO switch on, put the truck back in neutral, release the brakes, and uh, come over here, turn your RPMs on, and set it to where you uh, wanted it, or to where the required RPMs is uh, for your location. So yeah. Right now, I ain't gonna crank it up all the way because I ain't trying to burn all that fuel. So I'm just turning it on so when I go back there, I can check my pump, make sure it's working and all that, then I can come back in here and crank it up. So yeah, that's how you do that. All right, so uh, let's get back here and get to it. I'm good to go on and cut these, right? All right. Cool, cool. All right. As soon as I uh, get it, I said as soon as I get that thing connected, I start it up. Just go ahead and start. All right, cool. 
I hope I'm close enough, y'all. I swear, I hope I am. All right, y'all, so I got the customer's end connected, so now I'm gonna go over here and connect my end. Hopefully I got enough room, y'all, I swear. If I don't, I'm gonna be mad. Oh yeah, there's plenty. Yeah, there's plenty of room. I'm gonna just take this thing right here. Now, since we're gonna be pumping, we're gonna connect our end down here since we're using my pump so to flow through the pump and all that and come straight down through here. So, let's go ahead and put it in there. All right, y'all, so we got uh, my end connected, everything strapped up, sealed, all that type of stuff strapped up here and on the customer's end. So now I'm gonna go and uh, turn on my pump. Well, my pump already on, but let me just make sure it's, uh, let me make sure, let me look at it real quick. Yeah, I don't know what's been going on with some of the, most of these trailers lately, but uh, I can't explain this in my other videos. Uh, if you look right here, you see that me pushing this handle in means load, and me pulling it out this way means unloading, which is, which is what I'm supposed to be doing right now because I got to load. Unload, pull it out this way so it'll go in the end. But, uh, I guess when they had to fix the pump or whatever, they like switched some wires around or whatever. So now I got to push it in so it'll unload. Uh, not sure if y'all can see back here, but if you watch these blades, not the blades, but the repellers or whatever you want to call them, they're supposed to spin away from each other when we're unloading. So that's why I got to push it inwards. So now that we know this working, let me go ahead and crank up the uh, RPM to where I need to get it at. All right, y'all, so he asked me to uh, pump it slow. So I didn't crank the RPM, RPM up as much. So uh, yeah, let's go ahead and uh, get started on it. Hopefully y'all can hear me. Uh, everything seems to be running pretty smooth now. There's no leaks or anything on this end or my end. So we are good. So with that being said, man, I'm gonna get back with y'all, man. This is the boring part. I'm gonna sit back here, monitor everything. Uh, this pump is gonna take a little longer because he don't want me to like uh, go full speed or nothing like that. So uh, yeah, it's gonna take a little extra longer, but hey, I ain't tripping long as they, hey, they trying to go ahead and fit me in and get me up out of here. I ain't tripping. It don't matter how long it takes. Long as I ain't got to sit here till tomorrow morning. I think my appointment time was eight o'clock in the morning. I'm unload now. I'm finna get up out of here and uh, get to another load. But anyway, I get back with y'all once I am done finish uh, unloading this product, which is coconut oil. I'm sure I mentioned it early in the beginning of the video. But yeah, I get back with y'all. I give you your paperwork, right? Yeah, yeah. Out of the camera. Ah. Oh. <laughs> 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 yeah, let me just close it in. Just be very safe. All right, cool. Just be very safe when I close the car. Let's go. All right. All right, y'all, so we got my end in reverse. Let's go ahead and uh, skip this off. You know what I'm saying? Go and get started. Let's go on and roll this hose up. All right, we're good. And we're gonna close it up just like that. You know what I'm saying? And All 
All right, y'all, so we good back here. All right, man. Guys, stay, man. All right, you too, bro. Thank you for coming, man. All right. All right, man. Oh, yeah. First of all, let's turn off these heat lines. Go ahead and shut that off right there. Shut that off there. Boom. All right, y'all. So, hey, man, that's it for this video, man. Hopefully, y'all enjoyed the video, man. Uh, shout out to the guy, man, that uh, went head on and got me in early. Man, I appreciate it. I appreciate it. Now I can get down this road, get to this, uh, thinking, I think I might be doing one more load and then I'm going to swing by the house, uh, to do a few things over there and then we back out to this money, man. So, hey, man, uh, y'all stay tuned for the next video. Uh, make sure y'all follow me on Instagram. If it's on the road, y'all, please do that. Make sure y'all subscribe. We're on the road to 10K right now. So, yeah, man, let's go, man. I'll catch y'all in the next video. Peace.